You're still watching Ways. Now, today is World Hypertension Day. The demanded theme or the expanded theme for the World Hypertension Day is measure your blood pressure, control it, live longer with a goal of increasing high blood pressure awareness in all population around the world. So, Lami, have you checked your blood pressure today? No. Well, I usually do that when I have any hospital appointment. Oh, okay. But there's actually one at home. I think I'll start using it. Yeah, but do you think um, blood pressure is linked to your age or is something that you, at any age, you can have that? I've had one before, but this was um, pregnancy induced. Induced, okay. So, I, I, and because I'm not in that sphere, I might not be able to say, but I think there are quite a number of people in, the, in, 30s, in mm, their 30s now, that I know stress. that have it. Huh. Yes. I think everybody should just check. Yes, just even young, safe. even twenties. I've heard, I've heard wow. cases like I that. I haven't heard. Oh, definitely. Wow. Yes. Wow. So. Okay. So, what did you find for us in the news <clears throat> today? Okay, there's this British um, aircraft company that um, was impounded by the federal government. Apparently, they were given an approval for humanitarian services to apply for humanitarian needs, but they were caught operating commercial activities which is a bit baffling. So what really baffled me was who cleared them? It's a British company, so, they were, so the flight emanated from Britain. So how did they pass through? The British? Who, yes. Um, the, immigration yeah, and immigration, all those services yeah. before and the airport you know, authorities. So yeah, who cleared them? Because I know there are a number of technicalities involved when you're flying. And they landed in Nigeria. So, and I'm particularly shocked because it's a British company. You know, if it was an African company, I would have said, well, Africans are known to do that. But this is a, you know, this is a British company where there are laws and they abide by it. So did they single out Nigeria thinking there are no laws in Nigeria so we can do what we want? Because I'm sure they wouldn't do that if they go to the U.S. They won't try that, hmm. going to the U.S. to apply, you know, active, um, commercial activities. So it's a bit sad. But thankfully, the government um, apprehended them and they're imposing maximum penalty on them. What's the and maximum even, penalty? That wasn't stated, okay. but they impounded the aircraft. Okay. Yeah, and and in addition we, to maximum that, penalty. Yeah, so. but we know that they are going to have, uh, uh, outside of fines and all of that, maybe part of maximum penalty would be what? maybe th five year ban or ten year ban. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. Well, I, I'll follow the story and I, 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 I hope it comes to a logical conclusion. Well, you know, you stated that prior to we coming on, I really do not, I don't have information in that area, so I, I might not be able to comment, comment on it because on I do not know what the exceptions are. If you're flying and maybe the number of people flying in the private day, maybe they can get clearance mm. if they don't exceed a maximum number of, pe of, you know, of persons on board. Absolutely. So, and if they're going to be subject to quarantine. So I really do not know. So I might not be able to, but I've heard rumors like that, but I really do not want to believe. And if that is true, then probably hmm. there are some exceptions. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. So for me, I'm going to be focusing on our Chinese nationals. <laughs> so uh, Sahara Reporters has done, uh, they, they brought out a report and I was yeah. just, I found it very fascinating. Okay. How the importation of the 15 Chinese nationals to help coronavirus uh, fight exposed Nigerian government in sincerity okay and it, because um i remember when these people were going to be brought uh, were you the one on the show with me when we had the enemy because no, yeah because the enemy kept on the, we spoke to the president of enemy in abuja they and opposed it, it. They, everyone opposed it. why do you need to bring chinese uh, medical uh, personnel to come and help us we are you know and we had not gotten to that stage. we had not gotten so you know so now it is it uh, it has gotten to that point where People are asking the government, the, the president of the, the joint tax force, that where are these people, you know, and he's saying that he doesn't know their whereabouts, that these people, now they have found out that some of them were technicians, you know, for the company CECCC. I think it's a very long read. If you have time, you should find, <laughs> no, I have find read the article before. on Sahara, because no. they were talking about, uh, what's it called, this company have a lot of, um, uh, what's it called, ties with the Nigerian government. In construction, terms of construction, railway. Even, not only federal, even among state, state governments. And so, so they're they above the eaten law. Deep, yes, they've eaten deep. So this was just like a, a cover-up to bring in some of their technicians. 
and there were some issues they talked about bribery, you know, and all of that. It was just all because in the Because in the first, you know, um, prior to that, what we heard was they were coming to assist the Nigerian Medical Association. Yeah. And after a while, the story got converted to they were coming on a personal, for personal reasons. And really, at that time, there had been a lockdown the airspaces were already closed. So why, why, why did they have an exemption? Why were they exempted? Why did they have to bring in their own personnel? They're just a company. Mm. So how did they get the approval? What was the basis for that? So let me even quote uh, Mosage Ehanire. He says, um, he says that I want to explain that, first of all, I, do, I think not all of them are doctors. And I heard that some of them are technicians, but they are staff of CCECC. I mean, if this is true this is really sad Ridiculous. because even sahara had gone to go and bring um the minister for information lai mohammed's on um statement on the fourth of um on the fourth of may that said that this um, the chinese are doing well and they all tested negative this was when they just yeah that in. was a story and yeah and what they're doing right now they are busy working at our isolation centers putting together and setting up the equipment <laughs> that okay. they brought this was lai mohammed fourth of may now only <laughs> thursday but the Minister for Health is saying that he heard. Like, it does not no, make any sense. No, Why do uh, our leaders keep uh, on throwing us under the bus like this? No, it's unfair. I think, you know what amuses me the most about this government? Their level of incoherence. The Minister of Information will say something else, and another minister will directly hmm. attack it, oppose it. And I'm always like, is there no, don't they coordinate themselves? Is there no coordination? They don't know what is going on. They don't have information. So even amongst themselves, they don't have any, there's no line of communication. So it is hilarious that two ministers are speaking from different sides of their mouth. It's crazy, honestly. Chairman it's for so the tax, presidential task force, um, Boss Mustafa, admonished Nigeria. This was then, no, to see the arrival of the 15 Chinese as a positive step towards advancing medicine in Nigeria, thinking, okay, China And now has they can't find them. them. Now you, you're coming, <laughs> somebody's coming Some of them are even technicians. Please don't ask me that question again. Because and he was, I don't so, know. he was so infuriated. Oh my the, God. The, the answer showed he was so infuriated, like, how dare you ask me? Mm. So they cannot even account for their whereabouts. It's shocking. Well, for me, I think, <sighs> they, because the accusation is that there are secret money contracts exchanging hands between presidency, accountant general, Malami, you know, all of them. With the CEC people, kickbacks, they get a lot of kickbacks and all of that. So this is the allegation. It's boldly written on, uh, what's it called? Sahara. Sahara reporters. Everybody should go and read it. But you see, I, I, if our government, if there's any form of sincerity left inside of them, this should be explained properly and they should give us a proper feedback. Don't tell me that I should not ask you the question because you people allayed our fears. You begged us that, oh, no, 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 no. Come You're on, coming come to on, help yes. us. Calm down. Everybody kicked against it. Calm down, calm down. And now, suddenly they don't know where they are. Come on. It makes no sense. All right, so well, I think that's all we can take for what's in the news. When yeah. we return from the break, we'll be discussing logistics business in Nigeria. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.